So you can see here, we've just heated the penny up and I'm shaking it out. And that's molten zinc that's pouring out of the penny. And what's going to be left, and I'm setting it down right there, is the shell of the penny, which is just a very thin, thin layer of copper. Um, it's still very hot, but you can see there's quite a bit of zinc and only a little bit of copper in a penny. So here's a penny and the zinc that came out of it. And you can see it's nice shiny metal. And on the bottom, even a little more shiny where it landed on the uh, smooth surface. And it's also fairly malleable. We can bend it here pretty easily. And uh, if we left this out for a while, it would start getting kind of tarnished. It wouldn't stay so nice and shiny. And that's the reason that it's on the inside of the penny and not on the outside. The copper does a much better job at uh, staying nice and shiny. Whereas the zinc in uh, two or three days, it wouldn't be kind of corroded and, and not so pretty.